Pony Roach, or simply Roach, earned his nickname due to his purported resemblance to a cockroach, a moniker that's... Who was Tony Roach Rampino? Hitman for John Gatti. Anthony J. Rampino, born December 20, 1939, in New York. Tony Roach was an American mobster who was affiliated with the Combina crime family of New York City and involved in truck hijacking and drug trafficking. Rampino earned the nickname Tony Roach or simply Roach because he exposed physical resemblance to the cockroach. The name assumed a double meaning after when Rampino started smoking the previous amount of marijuana. He was involved in drug trafficking. He became a close friend of John Gotti, Angelo uh, Rogerio, Nicholas Caroso, and Leonard Di Maria. He was a cadaverous looking man with huge hands and long arms that seemed to reach down past his knees and an old rubbery looking face. He liked to contort his face in, into all kinds of horrible crime races in front of a mirror. Years of practice allowed him and at second notice to shape his face into something like the Phantom of the Opera. He firmly believed that such faces would frighten an any enemy. Rampino's faces were stickball and being successful thief. Rampino had been troubled with a heroin addiction in the 1960s, which was well known among his criminal associates, but had successfully kicked the drug habit by 1979. Former friend Sammy Cavano later said it was all around amongst us people that John were heavy in drugs. Personally, I don't believe John ever did it himself, but he had to know what was going on. I mean, there's Gene Gotti, his own brother, Angelo Virgilio, who he grew up with, the other guys with him. John Caniglia, Edward Lino, Tony Rhodes, who not only had a reputation for drugs, but was an ex-junkie. -junk Rampino and Wilfred Johnson served as John Gotti's chief loan collectors for the group. Rampino was an associate of the Combino crime family affiliated with John Gotti's crew, which was headquartered at the Bergen Hunt and Fish Club in Ocean Park, Queens, but never became fully initiated or made member of the organization. John Marsulli of the New York Daily News described Rampino as a colorful mob character, who was notable for his skull-like appearance. Another unnamed source called him the scariest man you ever meet. Tall, lean, and he looked like a vampire. Rampino was a backup shooter in the assassination of Combino crime family boss Paul Castellano and his honor boss Tommy Bellotti, who were each shot by death of a team of hitmen at South Park Steakhouse in Midtown Manhattan on December 16, 1985. According to source, Rampino's job was to kill anyone, civilians or cops, who followed the hit team. The murder of Castellano allowed for Gotti's rise to the boss of the Combino crime family. On June 28, 1987, Rampino was arrested for selling $30,000 worth of heroin to an undercover police officer in Ocean Park, Queens. He was sentenced to 25 years in federal prison for the criminal sale of controlled substance in the first degree, which carries a sentence of 15 years to life in prison. His bail was set at $150,000. Suffering from heart and problems, Rapina was admitted to the St. Luke's Hospital in New Hartford, New York on December 4, 2010, where he died 16 days later.